Crews from NASA and the National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA, will be flying these two aircrafts over several wildfires burning across Idaho. And so we can fly over the fire, see how hot it is, and then fly around the fire and look at the dynamics of the wind that feed into it. The key thing with fire weather is the wind. The wind can blow smoke particles from Idaho across the globe. The smoke from the West Coast can travel all the way to Europe. With Idaho fires having the ability to impact other nations, scientists hope to learn as much as they can in the next few days. Really what we're interested in is the smoke when it comes down and it's at the surface where people are breathing it. But also particles can be really, uh, the, the soot in smoke can be really absorb, absorptive and it can cause a warming. So we're also looking at the climate impacts of fires as well as the health impacts. These two planes are equipped with machines that take chemical measurements of wildfire smoke, something that NASA can't do from space. We can see a lot of things from space, but from space we can see where the fire is, maybe how big the fire is, and we can see that there's smoke in the air, but we really don't know what the smoke is made of. Of all the states in the West prone to wildfires, Scientists selected the Gem State as the best area to gather their data. Turns out that when you look at a map of all the fires for the last decade, this is sort of the center of uh, the fire activity, and this is where all the tankers uh, are. Data collected on this trip will be analyzed over the next six months. This is a lot of data, and it won't just be the hundred or so scientists that are here in Boise. There will be hundreds more from around the world looking at this data. And one year from now, Scientists hope they'll have a better understanding of the impacts this smoke has on our health and our planet. Well, crews haven't decided which Idaho flyers that they're going to fly over, but it's something they're going to decide pretty quick because either tomorrow or on, that would be Thursday, they're going to fly out over some of those fires. And it depends on how big they are and how hot they're burning, and that's kind of what goes into their decision on deciding which fire to fly over.